Fair fam, how are you? Um, I'd like to say I was good, however, <laughs> not particularly. Um, I definitely think I've got some dose of um, flu or some virus of that nature. Um, as you can see, uh, liquid just keeps erupting from my face. <laughs> well, all over to be fair. But I wanted to show you some of the things I got in Orlando. And as time is seeping past and we've been back over a week, um, if I don't do it now, it's just all been lying around waiting to be packed back in drawers. And I know once I pack it back in drawers, I won't have a mind to unpack it back out of the drawers. So, um, yeah, I've been really poorly since we got back. And um, although maybe I feel a slight improvement, I'm not beating it yet. Um, we're meant to be away this weekend, um, so I'm fighting really hard to um, to get myself uh, to a place where I can at least go away. Um, I know it's a bit of a cheek scene we just got back, but you don't turn 50 very often. And um, I've really not had the money to celebrate birthdays of late. So um, it was all arranged uh, back in January. So I had no pre-knowledge about the fact I was going to be poorly. Um, and it's all paid for. So it's only a couple of hours away. Um... But I do know that as we're moving on to that, I'm not going to have, you know, I need to get everything packed away. And at the moment, the holiday stuff is out. The washing is, you know, piles of dry, clean washing around. I've got to sort it. So there's some stuff that I've just literally just taken out of the suitcase. Some stuff I've started wearing um, and some stuff that's already been washed. So uh, you'll have to forgive me. But I did promise to show you all the T-shirts I bought. Now... On previous uh, holidays, um, I've never really bought T-shirts, well, not more than one or two, because I've been at work and I've either been in uniform and not going to make much use of them, or I've um, been in what we call plain clothes, like CID, uh, detective stuff, like smart, and I wouldn't wear them. So um, I haven't really done anything about it. But this time, several factors came together. One is I've put a lot of weight on, so a lot of my clothes um civvy clothes of, of late of past wouldn't fit um two i've got a little bit of spare money and i can treat myself this time um and three disney's a special place and it just it sweeps you up in the magic so i think i've bought way too many things but on the flip side i've got lots that i need to give to charity that don't fit anymore so it sort of evens itself out but I literally do have a new wardrobe. <laughs> uh, not so much the bottom half, but the top half. Right, um, I'll start off with the, the top I've got on. I ain't going to take it off again, but um, it's just a plain grey hoodie. Uh, Hard Rock Cafe, uh, Orlando. Do you know what? I actually had to stop and think to myself, where on earth was the Hard Rock Cafe? It, <laughs> it's um, My brain isn't the best. Well, it's not the best most of the time, but it's definitely not the best at the way I'm feeling. Um, so, Hard Rock Cafe was part of um, Universal. Well, it's not part of Universal. It's on the outside. It, it sits sort of between Islands of Adventure and um, Universal Studios. And it's just part of what they call the... the um, what do they call it? I was going to say the City Walk. I think it's called the City Walk. Oh. Um, so, let me show you a few of the things I bought. They're in no particular order because they've been moved from pillar to post while I've been trying to tidy up. Um, so, I don't know how I'm going to do this, really. First one is like a sweatshirt type thing. Oh, um, I love the colour. It's um, sort of a um, tie-dye effect. It's not... It's quite loose. It's um, got large letters on the back. Discovery Cove, Orlando. <laughs> and then it's got this, the logo on the front. Um, uh, that's that one. And this was purchased pre me knowing what I knew about SeaWorld, but there we go. I've learned a lot about SeaWorld since. They're not all bad, but yeah. This one, again, um, is one I fell in love with, but you know, it's a Sea World t-shirt. Again, I didn't realise this at the time, but it's like by some, I was probably by Guy Harvey. He's probably famous, but I don't know who he is, but I just liked the design. 
I love these fish when you see them in the tanks. And I like the way the fish are looking at you in the in the picture because they do. Fish do look at you. Anyway, big t-shirt. It's really thick, soft cotton. I'll tell you what I found over in the States is that a lot of their tops are a better quality. They seem to be a better quality cotton to ours. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but they seem very soft and smooth. But then I don't really buy t-shirts over here, so... Uh, the next one, I should just stand up permanently really, shouldn't I? The next one I bought was, in fact I'm going to have to, I think. Oh. The next one I bought was um, a Disney uh, t-shirt. Big, it's sort of to wear with leggings, comes down over your bottom. It's um, a Minnie Mouse t-shirt. Um, I've got another two hoodies to show you. One was from the um, Everest ride at animal kingdom now what's it called it's called hang on is it on here i'm not even sure disney parks expedition everest that's the one expedition everest is a roller coaster at animal kingdom now last time we were there three years ago i did it a few times with ellie this time i only did it once and it nearly killed me killed my back so on the front it's got that and on the back it sort of makes out that i don't know you're part of the base camp, Mountain Rescue. So I liked that one. So that's another hoodie. I think I bought three in total, yeah. This is one I got from Universal. Um, I do remember this one. I bought it like the first or second night because I was freezing cold in the hotel. Um, Universal Studios, Epic Adventures, and then it's got a little bit of everything. So it's got the Hogwarts train. It's got, um, what's it called? Lincoln... Oh, that. Can't think of it at the moment. Minions, Kong, Kung Fu Panda, Simpsons, you name it, it's on there. So that's that. That's a nice thick one. On the front, it's just got um, that. So it's just dated. They like to date their stuff, don't they? To prove how often you go, I think. I don't know. <laughs> so that's another one. That's nice and thick. I, th I think it probably went a bit too big, but I was a bit concerned that I was going to grow again. This is one of my favourites, but I fear it won't wash well. Rock the Dots. This is one of their current sort of themes. It's nice, just a big, just a baggy black t-shirt. But If you get close to it, they are actually proper dots that have been sewn on. So I don't really know how that's going to wash. <laughs> Oh dear. So it's sort of 3D to the t-shirt. Um, with the Mickey ears, you know, I've got my Mickey ears as well. So rock the dots. Um, then we've got one from, oh, this was just a Billabong t-shirt I fell in love with. It's literally just a Billabong, the brand, but it's um, got Florida written on it. This was from um, City Walk, Universal Studios. Uh, this one, I just got, I'm sorry, I'm going to go on and on and on. Who's your doggy? Obviously from the Pets film. So we've got all the little doggies. Ellie got the plush of this one. I don't know if you saw. Well, I think there's a picture of me holding this one. The plush, that is, not the real one. Yeah, liked that a lot. You know, me and my dogs. Fold these up in a minute. Oh, um, then what have we got? Moo! Oh, yeah, this is like a long-sleeved... It's T-shirt material, but it's long-sleeved. So this is like just a black top. On the back, it's in... Um, Rose gold, Universal Studios. <laughs> and then on the front, it's just Universal Studios. Um, but it's it's t-shirt material. It's, un, I don't know, I guess it's Florida, isn't it? They're not used to wearing thick stuff. But um, I thought that'd be comfortable for my loungy life that I've got at the moment. This is definitely a top to wear with leggings. This is um, just plain black on the top. And you get to the bottom, it's 
got the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Minnie Mouse dots. So I really like that. Um, yeah, that was one of my first ones I got when we got to Disney. Oh, and so it goes on, people, and so it goes on. Uh, this was... I think I got this one at Hollywood Studios. Um, fancy the V-neck. Haven't got very many V-necks. It's like got loads of stamps all over it of all the different parks and all the different bits and pieces. So you've got Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Stu Hollywood Studios, Walt Disney World, Haunted Mansion, Everest, Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's the parks and then the main rides, I would say, picked out. Um, and then on the inside, and then showing through the back which is really weird so on the inside the lining has got lots of the same design yeah not sure whether you're meant to wear it inside out back to front don't know it's weird isn't it i doubt it but they come through on the back so you sort of get to see them coming through the back so it's just like a plain like it like it a lot well i wouldn't have bought it if i didn't like it um We've got a load of bits and bobs at the outlet store. I don't really think you need to see all of those, do you? But they're just a sports uh, top from Under Armour. Um, this was a sporty top. This is Under Armour. Um, I'm not going to concentrate on these. You're not really interested in these, I don't think. Um, this was the Nike store. Uh, Peace, love and basketball. I tended to get things I didn't think I'd see in England. Live together, play together. That's the, the logo you get, isn't it? Um, you see on the telly. I got a super dry t-shirt in a sort of a grey stroke green, which I quite like. A sports material, you can see it's sort of like got a sheen to it. Um, I got a big lightweight, this one, sort of for summer days. More of a sort of casual t-shirt that added does. Just lightweight. These, these are all the outlet shop, by the way. Uh, that was another one I got from the Adidas shop. These are all like three and four dollars. That's why I sort of went a bit mad to the outlet shop. Um, God, I don't even remember the stuff I bought. Oh, Levi's. Yeah, black t-shirt. Levi's logo in the middle. Levi's seem to be really a lot bigger in the States for obvious reasons. I suppose that's where they started. Uh, Levi Strauss. Um, it's sort of a, like an Orlando y picture on it, which I quite liked. And it's got my colour, my pinky purple colour. I quite, I just like the design. It's nice 3D. Uh, that was Levi's store. Um, Tommy Hilfiger. I got a couple of t shirts on Tommy Hilfiger. I got um, a yellow one. Really thick, lovely cotton these are, um, and the peachy one. So uh, now I need to move upstairs where the ones I've washed are, <laughs> because oh, this is one that Ellie got. I could do Ellie's as well, because <laughs> Ellie got totally different to me. So you think I've got a lot, and then you'll see the set that Ellie's got. Right, this one's been washed already, but not ironed yet. But this is um. 2019 uh, Walt Disney World and then it's got all the characters down the bottom the Epcot Cirque Dome whatever you want to call it uh, Tower of Terror Cinderella's Castle <laughs> I think it goes on the back a bit doesn't it yeah just a bit um, so she's already worn that one um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else on there that I've worn? Oh my goodness, trying to find all the t-shirts. No, that's a hinge one. Hi right, Beth, I'm, I've had to go upstairs and collect the rest, <laughs> which was already in my wardrobe nearly. Um, right, start again. Uh, Pandora, the ride, the new ride, the Pandora ride, which um, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not going to spoil any of it for you. Go and do it if you go there. Don't be scared. I nearly whipped out and thank God I didn't. But that t-shirt is it's a really thick one, actually. I don't know how to, but it's, you know, really good quality t-shirt, that one. Um, Rainforest Cafe. We talked about the colours and everything there. I couldn't resist. So 
this is like um one of those t-shirt material but sweatshirt shape that they do sort of quite well in orlando bright bright pink um it's got uh paradise found rainforest cafe orlando and then the exact same logo just smaller on the front and of course it's neon pink <laughs> um so that's that one um and this color i couldn't resist this color so again this is a t-shirt but um again that nice thick quality this one uh rainforest cafe with a palm tree and then just rainforest cafe orlando on the back uh, then at the same time ellie got the one i showed you this uh blue one that i showed you i got a gray sort of more adult one 2019 walt disney world uh, it's plain on the back um oh it does have a mickey down the bottom <laughs> um going back to typhoon lagoon when we had the um cabana um i was starting to burn so i got myself um what do they call them rash vest type thing but it's really it's not quite the same material as rash vest um just says typhoon lagoon surf shack and then on the back it's just disney's typhoon lagoon so it's just a really lightweight sort of um water top uh, now this one's already been worn and washed because it's one of my favorites that i got to be honest um it's um a mosaic but it's clearly spider-man but as you get closer to it there are different uh shades um there's shiny bits and not so shiny bits and uh blue bits so when you're up close it, it means nothing it's just a load of shapes until you get further back uh, and then on the arm it's got uh, marvel universal's islands of adventure so it's the not the main park it's the one to the side where the harry potter ride is um yeah i really like that i really like that a lot i say that's gonna have to be one of my favorites of what i bought uh this is a close second actually no i don't know cause there's these next few have all been worn so that tells you something worn and washed so um that's it i'm putting my foot down <laughs> tickles my sense of humor that was from the rainforest cafe it doesn't say orlando but you know i know where it's from it is of the softest beautiful cotton really soft and um easy to wear nice and comfortable so that's been worn and washed already so that's one of my favorites this is from um as you go into diagon alley in islands of adventure or well, their recreation of diagon alley on the left is Nocturne Alley, which a lot of people miss. It's a very dark nighttime um, alleyway. And at the bottom of it is a tiny little shop with lots of glorious little bits in it um, that you don't see anywhere else in the parks. And um, Ellie and I both got this t-shirt in there. We both uh, wanted the same one. And it says, I serve time in Azkaban. Approach with extreme caution. Do not attempt to use magic against this person. And do you know what? I wore this around Disney i actually wore this when we were there and the amount of compliments and comments i had about it from disney staff and um, yeah that, so that's one of my favorites i think there's a, there's a couple that are my top favorites um this one i like because it's subtle more subtle than a lot of the other things i bought um, i also like a good v-neck uh it seems to um help my chest if i'm trying to look remotely um feminine uh, it's got a little sparkly dolphin oh, come on camera pick up the sparkles yeah see sparkles and then just discovery cove orlando and the very wearable sort of i don't know brown beige gray color so that's already been worn and washed i think i wore that one on the way home did i can't remember i love this one because it's different um and it's made of the strangest cotton um i don't know how to explain it it's just smooth it's like a um, page of a glossy magazine um but all over it is spider-man comic 
and literally it is a comic and I haven't read it all yet but there are like comments all over it all I need and you know there's lots of passages all over it <laughs> so I wore that when we were there very comfortable nice v-neck again uh, and totally different to what most people have got going on so again I think you'll have to say the ones that I've worn have got to be my favorites haven't they uh, this one's been worn and washed uh, this is not um, Disney, but this is one of the ones I got in the outlet visit village that I really liked. It's Michael Kors, but it, it looks like you've got sunglasses. <laughs> so I like that one. Plain black, me and my black. I uh, got this one when we first got to Disney and we literally wore matching t-shirts that first night when we went up to the special event. Um, this is the dots theme they're doing at the moment, so it's just really plain. The dots are of uh, sequins, blue and sort of magenta -y pink sequins. And you've got Minnie Mouse. And they're just line drawing of Minnie. And then it's tied sleeve at the side. And it's just really nice and big. Bigger at the back of my bottom. Uh, so that's been worn and washed. Uh, this one hasn't been washed, but this literally came into the shop the day, the morning we left. Because we'd be going in and out of the shop every time we went to the hotel, really. Because the snack place was there. So we sort of um, went through a lot. But this literally turned up um, in the shop the day we left. So we had to have it. <laughs> so we both had the same. So it's just our hotel. And then this is the main sort of reception area. Is this sort of Moorish shape. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's just a, a plain plain t-shirt really um now that concludes my purchases i think i could be wrong uh, every time i open a bag i find something else that i think oh forgot i had that um i've got loads of gifts for people that i love and i haven't even looked at trying to sort them out yet and to those of you uh like kate that look after the dogs and maddie your yeah, beautiful daughter I've got lovely things to give you, um, but just trust me and bear with me because I'm working my way through this, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to leave it there because I want to go and collapse on the sofa. <laughs> that is the majority of the T-shirts I bought myself. <laughs> I'm going to say, I like to say that's what I bought in Disney, but that's not what I bought in Disney, but that's the T-shirts I bought in Disney. Uh, I guess um, Baby Bear can do her own haul of the t-shirts she got because she got um, where I bought t-shirts she bought t-shirts but she bought different t-shirts because you know I'm 50 and she's 13 so um, she'll have to do her own haul on her own channel I think it's the best way forward um, and I might if I can get it all in one place and remember it all do you um what I might do is all the presents before I give them out and then keep it to myself and then put it out after the people have had things. That might be the way forward. Because a, a lot of what the other things I bought are for other people. Yeah, I think so. Right, my head's bashing, my brow's sweating, my throat's sore. It's time for a cup of tea. A little love and leave you. Thank you for your patience over the last few days, Bear Fam. Just bear with me. I'm... Um, I'm struggling a bit, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, today is Wednesday. Oof, 50 on Friday. I don't really see it's something to celebrate, but I guess it is in some ways. I survived. I will survive! I will survive! Right. Take care of yourselves and each other. Don't catch my bugs down the airwaves. Um... And I don't know if I'll catch you on the morrow. Don't know. Uh, definitely probably catch up on Friday, maybe. Show you what's happening on my birthday. Assuming I'm not just sat on the sofa feeling ill like I have been for the last week. Um, yeah, so take care of yourselves. Love you, Bear family. Thanks for all your lovely messages and support. Um, you know, as a sad singly sitting here. Um, you must know I've been poorly because I, I sent uh, Ellie to stay with her dad for a week. Um, 
twofold really because I wasn't going to be able to look after her properly and um, and secondly um, I didn't want to get in this because um, she'd miss a heck of a lot of school if she got this I think so I, it's the first time I've ever 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 asked Ellie to go and stay with her dad so hopefully that will tell you something or show you some way go some way to show you how poorly I've been feeling right for about the eighth time take care of yourselves i'll catch you soon bye bear fam love you